Hello, our dear reviewers, and welcome to a new edition of our daily debate. In today's edition, we are going to talk about uh, the Ras El Hikma developmental project where Egypt and the United Arab Emirates are seeking to enhance the joint bilateral economic uh, cooperation through carrying out strategic investment projects that serve their uh, mutual interests. Ras El Hikma project on Egypt's western north coast comes as one of the important initiatives which reflect such economic and investment uh, cooperation between the two brotherly Arab countries through developing and integrating touristic and trade infrastructure at Egypt's north coast. Uh, to shed more light on the issue, we are very much delighted to have with us in the studio engineer Emeni Shinnawi, member of the civil society and international service organization. Hello, uh, engineer Emeni, and thank you so much for being our guest. Thank you. Uh, our dear reviewers, before starting our topic uh, for the debate today, we'll start with our top stories. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received a phone call from uh, the Cypriot counterpart, uh, Nikos uh, Christo uh, Lidis, uh, on Tuesday. Their uh, telephone conversation tackled bilateral ties in addition to a number of regional issues of mutual concern. The two leaders confirmed that uh, they are abiding by the mechanism of a trilateral cooperation with Greece, as well as uh, the uh, periodical meetings as crucial tools to activate the regional cooperation. Presidential spokesman Ahmed Ahmed Fahmi said the phone call witnessed a confirmation by the two countries to enhance bilateral relations and push forward means of cooperation in various domains. This comes within the framework of ongoing efforts to achieve interests of the two nations, especially in economic field plus energy and electric linkage funds. The spokesman added that the call also tackled a number of regional developments and the means to calm the escalating situation in the Middle East region. In this regard, President Sisi stressed the significance that all sides should abide by the wisdom and responsibility, calling for an immediate ceasefire in the Gaza Strip and Lebanon. The head of state warned of the continued uh, escalation and its uh, negative repercussion on all peoples of the region who braces for stability and development. For his part, the Cypriot leader hailed the ongoing uh, Egyptian efforts to attain stability in the Middle East, expressing the country's keenness to support all efforts aimed at reclaiming peace and stability in the region. Addressing uh, the uh, lineup uh, of uh, the uh, inspection uh, of the 6th uh, Armed uh, Division of the 2nd Field Army in the Somalia Governorate, President Assisi extended greetings on the occasion marking the 51st anniversary of the October War victory. The head of state noted that Egypt had achieved the victory in the 1973 October War despite the difference in capabilities through will and vision. He said that during the October War, the will to liberate the land was engraved in the hearts of all Egyptians. The President asserted that peace has always been a strategic choice for the Egyptian state. President Sisi confirmed that Egypt does not have a hidden agenda against any party. On the Palestinian cause, President Sisi affirmed that the Palestinian people have the right to live in an independent state. President Sisi stressed that the Palestinian cause is pivotal and crucial for all Egyptians. He uh, said Cairo has sought to reach a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, a return of the detainees, as well as allowing, and uh, that would be for allowing the aid to reach the besieged uh, enclave. Meanwhile, the President uh, noted that Egypt has uh, spent 10 years in fight against terrorism. President Sisi also said that the armed forces and police have played a great role in protecting the national security since 2011. He added that Egypt's armed forces is a balanced and wise force and is part of the Egyptian people. President Sisi said the armed forces uh, doctrine is about protecting the Egyptian state and the Egyptian waters. Welcome back. Egypt and the United Arab Emirates seek to enhance joint bilateral economic uh, cooperation 
through carrying out strategic investment projects in several uh, multi uh, tasks and multi uh, direction Ras al Hikma project on Egypt's western north coast comes as one of the important initiatives which reflects such economic uh, and investment cooperation between the two brotherly uh, countries through developing integrated touristic and trade infrastructure at the Egyptian north coast. President of Fatah Sisi and UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan witnessed the launch of Ras Al Hikma development project on Egypt's western north coast, a significant step in strengthening economic and investment ties between the two Arab countries. The event, attended by Egypt's Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and prominent business leaders from both nations, marked the official start of the ambitious project which aims to transform the region into a major new city development. During the launch ceremony, the two presidents received a detailed presentation outlining the project's objectives, components, and its significant economic investment, real estate, tourism, and environmental implications. President Sisi and Ben Zaid were briefed about the integrated services and features of the project in addition to its aspiring developmental and economic opportunities. The event witnessed the launch of a partnership between several international Egyptian and Emirati companies to advance innovation in the field of smart electric vehicles in the Middle East and North Africa region. It culminated with the signing of contracts by Egyptian and Emirati companies to initiate work on the projects. Both presidents expressed their gratitude to individuals and teams involved in the project's development, emphasizing that it exemplifies a constructive development partnership between Egypt and UAE. They also highlighted the project's role in bolstering economic and investment ties between the two nations. The two leaders expressed their gratitude and appreciation to those responsible for implementing the project from both the Egyptian and Emirati sides. They watched a visual presentation outlining the objectives and various components of the project highlighting its impact on the economy, investment, real estate, tourism and environment. The leaders also witnessed the signing of key contracts between between Egyptian and Emirati companies recognizing the commencement of the on-ground work for the project. The event also marked the beginning of a partnership between international Egyptian and Emirati companies aimed at advancing innovation in the smart electric vehicle sector in the Middle East and North Africa. The total investment in the development of Ras al-Hikma city is $110 billion, with Egypt holding 35% share of the project's profits. And welcome back our dear viewers for more highlight on the Ras al-Hikma project and its impact on both Egypt and the United Arab Emirates. We are joined in the studio by our dear guest engineer Amani Shinawi, member of the Civil Society and International Service Organization. Uh, uh, greeting again uh, engineer Amani. And to start with Egypt and the United Arab Emirates have signed a historic deal to build a multi-billion uh, new state-of-the-art city uh, at Ras al Hikma as a new massive urban business and touristic center in the country's north coast. How far from your point of view uh, the project has become the largest of its kind in, uh, for both Egypt and the United Arab Emirates? Uh, the new cities uh, and the, the foreign investments are very important. Mm -hmm. uh, if we, um, if we uh, say uh, or talk about the, the foreign direct investment, Indeed. it is very important for uh, countries, especially a developing country like ours. Uh, so the project of Ras al Hikma is a very uh, important project as a new city uh, in uh, the north coast. Uh, and uh, a very important uh, project for the partnership between Egypt and the United Arab Emirates, especially that it is the, the, the highest uh, investment, uh, that, uh, the, the highest foreign in investment that is made in Egypt until now. Mm. Uh,
Could you please uh, highlight the project's role in boosting the investment uh, ties binding both countries uh, and uh, the uh, constructive developments partnership between Egypt and the United Arab Emirates as its investments are expanded to reach the minimum of 150 billion US dollars? Uh, the investment uh, is uh, in, uh, as we said, in the city of uh, Ras al Hikma, which is 170, uh, uh, one, uh, 170 uh, million uh, meter square uh, of area. It is a very long uh, beach of uh, uh, average of uh, around 350 kilometers uh, on the shore. Uh, it is uh, a very important uh, uh, city with the, all the new standards of new cities. So it's very important for both uh, uh, friend uh, uh, countries, Egypt and the United Arab Emirates, to have sort, such partnership, mm. which is already uh, uh, in Egypt's mm. plan of developing cities. We have a lot of new cities. Mm -hmm. One of which is Ras al Hikma, mm -hmm. and uh, I read about its, uh, uh, the, 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 the plan of having a city at Ras al Hikma since two years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not something new that we're planning to have a, a, a city at this mm -hmm. very important strategic place. Yeah. Uh, it, is, it was planned in our plan in, in Egypt's development to have such a city. The new is that. The partnership is done, and it's done in a, a very special way between two mm -hmm. friend countries, and we're going to see a very important new city uh, on our uh, north coast. Yes, uh, hopefully. Um, 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 uh, engineer Amini, the project implemented by the New Urban Community Authority and the Abu Dhabi Development Holding Company. Uh, actually, as you have kindly mentioned, it would be built on an unprecedented area, actually, of uh, over 40,600 feet dams. How will this vast area uh, feature uh, uh, residential districts, uh, prestigious hotels, touristic resorts, entertainment venues, and uh, facilities and services as well? Uh, the city uh, is having 25% uh, of its area green areas, mm -hmm. which, is, which is very important for the environment. It has a free zone. It has a residential area which uh, will uh, be average holding about 2 million citizens. It can hold uh, a lot of uh, people uh, who have a lot of job opportunities and uh, have uh, lives uh, all year life, not only during summer. Mm. Uh, it has uh, um, uh, 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 hotels uh, of uh, very high standard. It, has, uh, it is eco an economic uh, uh, an economic uh, area that will have a lot of businesses, a lot of uh, mm -hmm. job op opportunities uh, and it follows uh, the regulations of the new cities mm -hmm. uh, uh, about the environment, the green economy. Uh, we're going to see um, um, transportation means that are uh, important uh, mm -hmm. and very clean and we are going to have an airport which is in the south of uh, Ras al Hikm. Yes. Uh, is this mega deal poised to have a remarkable impact actually on different aspects of uh, the Egyptian economy on the long term? Yes. Uh, the, the project, uh, it's not a sale project. It's not that the land is sold. No, it is a partnership between mm. the Emirati uh, company, the mm. Abu Dhabi holding company, yes. and uh, the, the Egyptian urban uh, 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 for, uh, for uh, new cities. Yes. Uh, uh, so it's a, a, a partnership that is going to uh, give Egypt uh, profit in uh, the, the, the the percentages uh, that are uh, uh, being set between the two countries mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to uh, it is uh, uh, predicted that it's going to uh, give Egypt uh, around uh, uh, 24 billion dollars in its uh, in its uh, economy yes. every year it's going to be a profitable uh, 
a profitable project mm. uh, that is going to have a lot of job opportunities, a of lot course. of uh, uh, places where people can live and uh, uh, where economy can have uh, it's an, a, a great uh, ground for uh, starting new businesses mm. and having uh, youth and having uh, people uh, transfer their uh, living to live there and have new projects or uh, mm. work in the international uh, corporates yes. that will be there. Yes, indeed. How will uh, Ras Al Hikma project contribute in promoting the infrastructure of the area and broadening the urban community there? Uh, as a start, we're having uh, a great revolution in our infrastructure, uh, transportation means, uh, uh, in the roads, uh, everyone can see the, uh, the, our revolution all over Egypt in transportation. This yes. is very important to have uh, a developing country having all this uh, uh, infrastructure. Yes. Uh, uh, as for uh, the, the city of Ras al Hikma, uh, and it's connected to Cairo through Al Daba um, uh, roads. roads. Yes. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, we, it's going to have an airport mm. also. Uh, it's going to have uh, a new infrastructure for uh, having uh, uh, internet connections, mm -hmm. having uh, 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 everything uh, possible for the, uh, the living and for mm -hmm. having uh, a new city with all uh, uh, the regulations of new cities uh, that will be uh, very helpful to have uh, mm -hmm. our infrastructure in, at that part of yeah. the country. Indeed. As the project will include administrative and service buildings, a free economic zone for information technology, industries and uh, logistical hubs, as well as the central business district, how will the area uh, attract the global investment companies uh, in the future? Uh, having a uh, good infrastructure in the city, having an airport, having a uh, uh, lot of facilities that the government mm. is uh, giving to the new projects and to the, uh, to the foreign uh, direct investments in Egypt, uh, all this uh, is going to, uh, and also the location, the location of Ras al Hikma, the location of Egypt in general is very uh, important and very uh, attractive for uh, international investments. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to attract a lot of corporates, a lot of uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, big companies to have uh, uh, mm -hmm. their headquarters and their uh, offices mm -hmm. at uh, Egypt. Uh, also, the, uh, being in the center of the Mediterranean, this is very important uh, as a touristic place that is going to attract a lot of uh, touristic projects mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to have marines as well, uh, five marines that are going to be at Tras al This mm -hmm. is very important for uh, tourism too. Indeed. Uh, also, um, uh, the uh, outline of the project's objective and the significant economic investment, touristic and environmental uh, implications of that project. How do you see these um, elements in the success of that project? Uh, well, as for the environmental part, and I'm very fond of env <laughs> environment, environment yes. and of saving our mm. Mother Earth after all those years, of eliminating carbon dioxide in the air. Yeah. Uh, I believe that the new cities are very important uh, mm. to, set, uh, the, to set the model. Mm. Uh, to set the model in uh, uh, transportation means uh, inside the city that are not uh, uh, harmful for the environment, yes. in uh, the industrial area that it's going to be well treated and uh, we won't see uh, the black fumes coming out of the factories. Uh, in, uh, it's the, the green economic that we are dreaming of mm. uh, that's going to be uh, started in the new cities. Uh, cities of the, five gener the fifth generation 
uh, are having uh, a lot of regulations uh, in uh, mm. uh, waste uh, disposal, in uh, uh, waste treatment, in uh, water treatment uh, uh, that will uh, uh, make the, the great effect on the environment mm. and we're going to see uh, yeah. great uh, achievements. Indeed. What about the region advantages, uh, the integrated uh, services offered by the project and the development and economic opportunities it, uh, it is presenting? Uh, the economic uh, opportunities, as we, sa as we said, uh, uh, as for the beginning of the project, hmm. we had, uh, uh, as all the world is having an economic uh, crisis, we had uh, a problem with uh, the, 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 uh, the foreign currency being uh, not stable. So having this project uh, started to stabilize the, mm. uh, the foreign curren currency and to, to have uh, uh, the, the, inflammation, mm. the, the, the inflation going uh, lower or uh, at least it's uh, stabilizing mm. because always uh, having uh, foreign investments uh, in the country uh, mm. does this. Uh, in, on the long term, we're going to have uh, projects uh, mm. that are going to serve the economic uh, with more uh, profits and more uh, uh, foreign current currency uh, uh, flowing in mm. the country in and out. Uh, this will make uh, more stabilization in the country and we'll see uh, economic development uh, for the better, especially mm. with uh, job op opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, our uh, society in Egypt, our uh, citizens are youth. Mm -hmm. We are a youthful country, having around 70% of the citizen youth. Uh, so we need job opportunities all over oh. Egypt. So this will be very important to have uh, job opportunities, and uh, uh, mm. which is uh, very important for the economy. Yes, that would be my uh, next question, um, uh, Engineer Amani. To what extent the joint Egyptian Emirati project will create thousands of job opportunities uh, for the youth? Uh, uh, building a new uh, city takes uh, a lot of years. Uh, in those years, you need a lot of uh, people who uh, design, who build, who uh, take care of the project. So uh, in those years of building the city, there will be a lot of people working in the construction and uh, in uh, building the city. After that, uh, having uh, uh, an economic uh, uh, um, zone and a free zone and having tourism in the in the city. Yeah, yeah. This will help in a lot of ways in having people of different uh, education levels and different uh, positions that will go and work there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, hopefully people will be living in the north coast uh, as we had a problem at some mm -hmm. time uh, that uh, we in Egypt are living near the Nile. Uh, yeah. We are living in the delta and the yes. Nile. Now we are better distributed with the new cities all over Egypt, if we're talking about new Ismailia, new uh, uh, Asyut, mm -hmm. uh, about the, the new administrative city, so, uh, yes. oh, and also... New Russell destination Hitler. in different places, yes. so people are better distributed. Better indeed. distribution of people, this is uh, far mm. more better for the country and for uh, using our resources. Indeed. Uh, before continuing our interview here, uh, Engineer Amani will go to watch this report where the IMF says the Ras al Hikma project recognizes the Egypt's economic potential to generate additional tourism revenues. More details. The International Monetary Fund said the Ras al Hikma deal, which is worth $35 billion, would reduce the pressure on the balance of payment, but if it were used prudently, IMF chief for Egypt, Ivana Vladkova, said the expectation for what is a prudent use of the new resources coming into Egypt from Ras al Hikma deal is to ensure that those resources are used to reduce Egypt's vulnerabilities and to make sure that they are used to improve the outlook.
the economic outlook facing Egypt. She added that from this perspective, authorities are set to save a significant portion of those proceeds in gross international reserves to strengthen the buffers that Egypt has to deal with forward-looking shocks and use a significant portion of those proceeds, so 50% of the local currency value of those proceeds, to reduce debt, public debt. Holler explained that Ras El Hikma investment project recognizes the potential of the Egyptian economy in terms of generating additional tourism revenue. She further said that as normally FDI flows come into a particular country, recognizing again the ability of the country to generate additional resources in various areas. And as long as the conditions are there, the conditions that we spoke about in terms of having a fair level playing field for the private sector to compete alongside with public sector enterprises. FDI is likely to come in order to bring in the know-how, bring in additional resources for investment that would again strengthen the ability of the Egyptian economy to generate jobs and generate economic growth. The project represents the largest investment deal in Egypt's history with a total projected investment of $150 billion. During the development phase, this new project is part of Egypt's 2052 urban development plan for the country's northwestern coastal region and in line with the Western North Coast Development Project covering an area of over 170 square kilometers. Ras El Hikma is set to include residential districts, prestigious international hotels, tourist resorts, expansive entertainment venues, and essential service facilities such as hospitals, schools, and universities. Additionally, it will feature a free economic zone for information technology industries and logistics hubs, a central business district to attract global companies, and a large marina for tourist yachts and ships. An international airport south of the city is also planned, with Abu Dhabi Development Holding Company developing the airport and Egypt receiving a share of its revenues. The new city is set to attract 8 million tourists to Egypt upon completion. The city will benefit from the new Daba'a nuclear power plant as a source of renewable energy. And continuing our debate here with uh, Engineer Amani Shinawi. Uh, Engineer Amani, the total investment in the development of Ras Al Hikma City is about uh, 110 billion US dollars, with the Egypt holding uh, of a 35% share of the project's profits. How can the state actually benefit from the profit in developing uh, the northern coast region to attract more tourists? Uh, Egypt is uh, as a partner in the project uh, uh, we have 35% uh, uh, as you said of the project yeah. so uh, it's very important to have uh, uh, our all our uh, experiences with Emirati experiences mm -hmm. in tourism and how to attract people uh, for uh, coming and uh, uh, we have uh, a beautiful city with uh, white sand and blue water, hmm. very clear water, so uh, it's fantastic to have uh, uh, to be a, a tourist that's, uh, who is willing to hmm. come uh, uh, in this uh, very, uh, very, uh, very uh, nice uh, place. Uh, all over the year, we're having a beautiful weather uh, all over the year, in summer of course, uh, but in winter too, uh, for uh, Europeans and for uh, people who live uh, in cold uh, countries, I believe that uh, uh, they, they can have a lot of uh, uh, mm. activities to do uh, mm. in this uh, beautiful spot of the world. Yes, indeed. Uh, when finalized, uh, the, uh, what would be the impact of Ras El Hikma uh, ambitious uh, project on flourishing the tourism movement in Egypt? Uh, Egypt has a lot of, uh, of tourism um, uh, uh, sites. We can have the, 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 um, uh, the ancient Egyptian tourism, we have uh, uh, the marine tourism uh, mm -hmm. as in Sharm el Sheikh and uh, Ghadda'a uh, and Hurghada. We have um, uh, um, many uh, ways to have mm -hmm. uh, tourism uh, like in Siwa. So uh, in, at the north coast, there's, there's a very special uh, uh, places for uh, tourists to uh, swim and to, uh, uh, to have uh, uh, luxury life 
uh, in nice hotels yes. that are going to be uh, built there. Uh, it's very important. From, it's very uh, near from uh, Alamein and all the the the, um, uh, the monuments and the museums we are having Allah at Alamein yes. because Alamein is not only uh, mm. a city and a business it's city. It's witnessed the, the the Second World War and we have uh, some burial places for uh, the Germans and the, uh, the Italians there. Yes, as well. we have uh, uh, people uh, who are. Uh, uh, we have museums for. Uh, uh, all the the, sit, uh, the the countries of the world they can uh, come and visit. Mm. Uh, we have uh, uh, Marsa Matruh is very near and it has oh. also uh, great shores and uh, clear water. Uh, so uh, it's uh, it, it's going to be a very important uh, part uh, yes. of uh, Egypt uh, for tourism. Indeed, do you expect the giant project uh, will transform the region into a new touristic hub and uh, an investment destination. Yes, uh, tourism and investment are uh, um, are always uh, they come together. So uh, we ha we can have a lot of uh, investments uh, that are going to be mm. uh, placed uh, in tour touristic projects. And as we said, the marine life there is uh, beautiful. The mm. swimming and the shores and uh, uh, the sun. Um, uh, also having a uh, business there and uh, at the same time um, mm. having a, a nice place to live at uh, will attract people uh, to live there. Uh, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, connected uh, or it's already connected with Cairo mm. uh, with uh, El Daba uh, road. road and it's connected to Alexandria with very uh, fast and uh, uh, safe roads too. Mm. So uh, this makes it uh, very important uh, for uh, this place, yes. uh, especially that it's uh, on the Mediterranean and it's going to have mm. an airport. Yes. This is uh, a very important yes. for the logistics of the. Uh, of course, tourism. we have uh, we'll have uh, an airport in Ras Al Hakma, and we did uh, inaugurate uh, the uh, airport in uh, Al Alamein city as well. Uh, so we do have a very active. Um, infrastructure here uh, regarding uh, the, de the development of this very important uh, destination. Uh, Engineer Amani, also uh, we were talking about the yachting tourism. Do you believe that the development of uh, Ras Al Hikma and this mega project will attract um, the tourists uh, uh, with yachts to come and dock here uh, in um, Egypt? Are we going as the, the state is keen to develop this a uh, very um, sophisticated uh, uh, field of tourism, which is the autumn tourism. I believe that this is a part of the plan uh, for mm. the marina in uh, Ras Al Hikma, and mm. maybe there'd, there'd be more than a marina because the place is uh, very uh, large. Mm. Uh, people uh, with uh, having uh, interest in yachts. Mm. Uh, in uh, Europe, they have a limited time because uh, the weather gets cold. Oh. Uh, our weather in Egypt... Uh, there is this very moment, we are in mid-October and the weather is great, you can swim, you can enjoy the sun, you have... Uh, Maybe have until this. December. Yes. After that yeah. you have December, yeah. uh, uh, the mid-December until February, it could be a little bit cold, not uh, that mm -hmm. much cold. So we're having uh, an average weather, a fantastic mm. weather all over the year. Uh, and the sun is shining uh, and this is uh, and this reminds me of a song an Egyptian song that uh, uh, speaks about the sun and yes. our sun is shi shining all, 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 year. all year long <laughs> yes. indeed. and this will uh, be very attractive for people who like uh, mm. uh, the yachts yes uh, engineer many uh, while we were on our break uh, you talked about uh, this mega project and how it did help also in uh, ending the black market uh, for uh, currency in Egypt. Can you shed more light on that? Uh, as we said, uh, Ras Al Hikma project uh, was planned uh, since years. Yes. Uh, at the moment that the partnership happened between Egypt and the United Arab Emirates, mm. this was a very important point for Egypt. We, we had an economic crisis like every 
country in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the, uh, the, the, the currency, our currency is, uh, was floated at that time. Yes. Uh, and uh, the foreign currency was uh, going up, 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 up. It was uh, a curve. Uh, a going up curve. Yes. At that point when the partnership was uh, done and the, the mm. money was uh, uh, being uh, uh, sent to Egypt, yes. in, uh, to our banks, uh, this stabilized the foreign currency mm -hmm. and it ended the black market. Mm -hmm. We had a very uh, bad uh, 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 issue with the, bad, yes. uh, the black market because it, uh, uh, it raises the, the foreign country the value, without, yes. uh, without, maybe without, uh, without uh, logic uh, yes. reasons. Mm. So uh, the black market ended and the, the foreign currency was stabilized and yes. uh, uh, this was for the better. Of course. Uh, can you emphasize, uh, the, uh, Ambassador, um, Engineer Amini, uh, the project role in exemplifying uh, the constructive development partnership between Egypt and the United Arab Emirates as well as in bolstering the economic and investment uh, ties? Uh, Egypt and the United Arab uh, Emirates have uh, a lot of ties and friendships uh, since long ago. Uh, we can't uh, forget uh, that yeah. we're having uh, a very important uh, mm -hmm. uh, place in Egypt which is called Sheikh Zayed. Mm -hmm. This was uh, Sheikh Zayed of Emirates yes. since years and since uh, the, the 80s or the 70s maybe. Yeah. Uh, so a place in Egypt that uh, it, it can be developed and th this is what happened. Mm. Uh, Sheikh Zayed was developed as an area in Egypt and uh, this was, uh, this is uh, still uh, a place, uh, a very important uh, area in Egypt. Mm. Uh, Ras al Hikmatu is um, a result of this friendship and this uh, partnership between the two uh, countries mm. uh, and it's going to uh, be a very important hub uh, economic hub in Egypt and uh, a free zone. Yes, indeed. Uh, Ras al Hikma's uh, 35 billion US dollar investment project will result in funds that would be used to invest in key projects across Egypt to support the country's economic growth and its development. What's your take on that? Uh, there are a lot of, uh, uh, of companies that are going to uh, help in the construction of uh, Ras al Hikma. Uh, a lot of uh, names are being uh, said uh, already uh, that are going to uh, be uh, uh, building in uh, Ras al-Hikma, uh, Egyptian mm -hmm. companies. This is very important that it, uh, it helps the economy in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Also having, uh, after the, 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 uh, the construction finishes and the, the international uh, companies are set there, uh, it's very important to have the uh, people from all over Egypt working uh, in the projects mm. and uh, this will uh, be very important and a key uh, economic key uh, in Egypt uh, yes. in all uh, uh, sides. In, yes, indeed. Uh, to what extent the project has provided, as we were talking, a crucial injection of funds for Egypt which had been um, struggling with the foreign currency uh, shortages exacerbated, of course, by the loss of the, uh, the revenue of the Suez Canal due to the um, attacks on uh, the Red Sea and uh, the security issue in uh, the Red Sea. Uh, we have the Suez Canal uh, um, is not working with its full power, uh, mm. of course, and the revenues are uh, were uh, are are still. Uh, mm. lower than uh, what was expected at that time yep. uh, and this is happening since one year this is a long a very long of period course. of time uh, we have also another thing that uh, people who are living uh, out of Egypt uh, are uh, always sending the money so mm. at that time 22 percent was uh, 
decreased from the revenue because of, of the black market Be yes this yes. is true mm -hmm. so it was all a cycle that we had to break and uh, uh, mm -hmm. go through uh, go out of this cycle mm -hmm. uh, this was very important that the investment started and the partnership uh, sp started uh, uh, the money was uh, being uh, in Egypt and it helped to stabilize uh, the foreign currency and it helped uh, that we got rid of the black market mm -hmm. uh, hopefully forever. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, the recent period witnessed uh, a series of memoranda of understanding for potential partnerships on mega products. How do you estimate uh, this uh, from an economic uh, point of view? Uh, partnerships and uh, memorandum of understandings uh, are um, uh, very important. Uh, it's, uh, you, can't, you can't have uh, investments th that are uh, local and that's it. Mm. Uh, you always are seeking uh, partners, partners who uh, um, uh, not only are partners that invest money, but mm. uh, also the best practices of the other countries uh, the, the, uh, you, uh, uh, always there is an exchange of experiences mm -hmm. between the partners so uh, this is very important to have partnerships and to have a memorandum of understandings mm -hmm. that will uh, help uh, um, to establish uh, bigger projects and mega projects yes actually do you think that developing and delivering a master plan of this uh, uh, magnitude require sector specific expertise and capabilities across a wide range of industries and is achievable only through strong strategic partnerships. Uh, strategic partnerships are uh, very important uh, and having uh, the, the industries we, we can, we, we, are, we have um, our potential in Egypt uh, mm. is uh, people our citizens yes. uh, and as we have uh, the the majority of people are youth this is very important and as we are trying to uh, uh, make uh, those youth more productive by uh, developing the education mm -hmm. and by developing their health yeah. because those are very uh, the, the the most two important uh, uh, points that the, uh, the most two important mm -hmm. files uh, in order to have uh, mm. people uh, working and pro productive is the education and health. Yeah. So this is what we're doing. Education is being mm. uh, developed and health is being taken care of through a lot of initiatives uh, like uh, 100 million uh, health mm -hmm. uh, that we're having uh, and all the, uh, the, the, the health projects that mm. we're having across Egypt. So uh, this is, uh, uh, is going to uh, help a lot in the industries. I hope so. Engineer Emeni Shinnewi, member of the Civil Society and International Service Organization, thank you so much for uh, your precious input and for being our uh, guest for tonight. Thank you so much, Engineer Emeni. Our dear viewers, with that, we come to the end of this edition of our daily debate. I'm Hitsi Rabia signing off. Thank you for watching.